Welcome back! As we continue our decluttering journey, today we set our sights on the shared spaces, the heart of our homes where life buzzes, laughter echoes, and memories are crafted. These are the spaces we share with our loved ones. And just like our personal spaces, they too can benefit from the refreshing breath of minimalism. What is minimalism? It's about cutting back to the essentials, finding joy in fewer things, and creating space, not just in our closets, but in our lives. Let us start in the kitchen pantry, a treasure trove of ingredients waiting to become part of our next meal. But hidden among these culinary prospects are the forgotten tins and jars, their contents unseen and uneaten. It's time to delve in and discover what is still good and kindly part with what is past its prime. Just like our personal items, what we consume should nourish us, not just fill space. Next, the medicine cabinet, a safeguard of our well-being, yet sometimes a holder of outdated remedies. Just as we routinely check our well-being, let us ensure our cabinets reflect only what is beneficial, disposing responsibly of what is not. And the infamous junk drawer, a mystery box of the miscellaneous, often overlooked until it overflows. Let us sift through the chaos, find homes for the keepers, and free ourselves from the clutter. You might find, as I did, that you don't really need a junk drawer at all. Now for the artists in our homes, the craft supplies. My granddaughter's eyes sparkle at the sight of glitter and glue, but there's a fine line between having what is needed for creativity and what is simply excess. Let us make room for inspiration by keeping only what sparks joy in our artistic endeavors. Board games, a staple for family fun, can accumulate over time. Let us keep the laughter alive by curating our collection, sharing the surplus with others who can enjoy them just as much as we have. And the fridge, often overlooked but crucial. Starting the year with a clean fridge is not just about freshness, it's about health for our food and our families. Our kitchen counters, a landing spot for all and assorted stuff, truly deserve attention. With my tiny family that loves to cook, Clear counters means more space for culinary adventures, even if I'm just there for the tasting. Lastly, the drinkware cupboard. In my journey, I have seen how easy it is to accumulate more than we need. Common giveaways for my talks and guestings. Let's toast to the new year by decluttering what we don't use, sharing our abundance with those who can treasure them anew. Decluttering these shared spaces is an act of care for our families and ourselves. It creates an environment where we can gather, grow, and thrive without the burden of excess. It's not about having less. It's about making room for more, more laughter, more memories, and more meaningful experiences together. Together, let's declutter, simplify, and embrace a life of minimalism where every space is a reflection of what truly matters.